is Shana with Go Grow, and today I'm going to show you how to make this. This is goldenrod tincture in the making. Goldenrod is a plant that around this time of year you'll see it usually in pastures or fields or uh, on the side of the road like yellow, puffs of yellow. For years I've been saying that I want to make a tincture with it and this year is the year that we started it was me and my brother I was just saying mentioning it again that I wanted to do it and he was like let's go do it so here's the first jar so I'm about to harvest some more um, this year a whole bunch of it grew across the street in the pasture um, across from where my mom and dad live so I'm about to and I know that nobody's treated that over there with pesticides or herbicides or anything. So that's going to make it even better. So we're going to go over there and make some goldenrod tincture. Ooh, look at that spot right over there. That's dense. That's where me and my brother harvested before. But we're going to spread out. There's no way that we're going to harvest all of this. But we're going to leave some for the bees because I hear it's their last hurrah before winter so you know they're everywhere this time of year I just it's so beautiful to see the show these plants goldenrod has so many health benefits it's usually um, it usually has a bad rep this time of the year People, you know, usually have al allergy problems, and they blame it on goldenrod, but goldenrod is not the problem. The problem is ragweed. Um, but goldenrod is the cure because one of the benefits of goldenrod, I'm just going to do it, I don't know, down to where the leaves are not pretty anymore because I'm saving the leaves for tea too. All right. Goldenrod is a uh, good for allergies yes they're good for allergies they're good for um, uh, they're antimicrobial anti-inflammatory they're good for blood pressure for high blood pressure problems um, so so a lot of people say you're not if you're gonna drink the tea or if you're gonna use the tincture don't use it over two two weeks straight because it's antimicrobial and you just need to reset after that okay too much of a good thing i think what made me not want to do golden rod is somebody said you know i've been looking at a lot of videos i do that you know when i want to know something about plants or whatnot. Anyway, she was saying, talking about the spiders. So, thank goodness I haven't seen any. And I don't want to say yet because I don't want to see any. Period. What is going on with this thing? This ground is not level out here. This is where, this is the field when I was younger. We would have to pick, oh my dad, he, he, as long as this, we would have to pick row, 16 rows of, uh, 16 rows of field peas. I wouldn't even eat field peas for years. I mean, I recently started eating field peas from the, from the field. These are on their way out. I was just looking up on, um, what was that? I was looking at the internet, Google. And you can, ragweeds has medicinal benefits. Or be, they has benefits. I think it has a lot of protein. And some people 
gather the seed heads and right now that's what I got in my backyard. It's amazing how long seeds can store in the ground because where I have ragweed overrun by ragweed in the garden or you know, in my yard field or whatever. Right there was kuzu. It was really bad. Kuzu, kuzu, kuzu. Well, my cousin was able to machete back a lot of that kuzu, that thick growth, and then all of a sudden up comes bunches of ragweed. Just found out in my latest Master Gardener class that weed seeds can survive for 30 to 50 years in the ground. I saw a spider. Time to go. Let's go process this. Hopefully I don't have any spiders on here. <sighs> okay. Got my nephew out here playing with his little remote control. So I'm about to start doing this simple process of cutting out the um the gold tops. And then for the for the leaves, I'm just gonna strip it like that. Just come down like that. And I'm gonna put them in my herb dryer thing. I got a herb. What do you call it? Herb rack, drying rack. Instead of me using my um. Hey, hey, hey. Instead of me using my um dehydrator so much I can just let mother nature do it hey. okay look empty I did have a little help in the end though my little nephew was able to help me pull the leaves out look at all these leaves this is going to be good medicine for me through the winter whenever you know just every now and then I could do a tea or mix it up with something else, you know, make a nice tea. All right, so I've stuffed, I don't want to overstuff them, but my jar, see? So now all you have to do, oops, one of the stems got up in here. It's not a terrible thing. Oops. All right, we got our 80 proof. So I'm going to just pour it over. Man, you sure are, taking a, you sure are thirsty. Gosh. You want to cover everything up. This might take the whole... You see, tincture is very concentrated. So, <clears throat> if you have reservations about using tinctures with alcohol in it, just think about, you know, like cough syrups and a lot of other medicines might have more alcohol than this concoction. Anyway, and also... When you finish, when it's finished, you're only going to use a few drops per, you know, dosage. So, all you do, and then um, every day for about six weeks, you um, shake it. So now... I'll have to put, I already have a, the date on here. I need to put the dates on these two. And so we'll know when they're ready. And the thing about it, when you're not being so um, precise with this, like um, washing the herbs before you do it, because if there's any bugs in here, we're going to strain this. When it's complete, Take 
I'm gonna put a little more alcohol in here. We're gonna strain it when it's complete. So everything that's not liquid is going to get put in the um, compost bin, maybe, or yeah, something. Dang, it took the whole. So let me tell you, um, if you would like to use goldenrod or want to try it because it has all these medicinal properties, then you need to get out now while it's still in bloom because it only blooms, you know, for so long and then it's, you know, uh, the pastures are not alive anymore and bright and beautiful so yeah it's been how many years me saying I wanted to do this and then finally get to do it I am so happy about it and if you stayed this long to this video uh, I appreciate you so much and uh, Remember to go grow something and love you.